Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and in this video uh, goiter is a term or a disease which will be discussed as because in the chapter of food nutrition and digestions there are some disease that has been discussed in your book and according to that syllabus I am going to explain this disease sequentially and this tutorial uh, my focus is goiter so as of I think you know it about it earlier what is goiter so I can say that goiter is an abnormal enlargement of thyroid gland so goiter is a condition or uh, yes is a condition where the thyroid glands become enlarged why so thyroid gland is a beautiful butter ship butterfly shaped uh, gland butterfly shaped gland which is actually uh, located in the lake just besides uh, and just after the Adam's apple so if you see on the Google you can see the uh, positions of butterfly shaped gland and this is known as thyroid gland and the functions of thyroid gland is to produce hormones which is actually essential for metabolism and uh, if you see that in the Google there are some pictures which is our images regarding the uh, okay regarding this goiter you see this is a patient goiter some nodules is actually uh, observed there so this is a thyroid gland so this is a single nodules is forming there and this is thyroid with multiple nodules so this is the thyroid gland which is actually normal and is located just under the Adam's apple and you see it looks like a butterfly shaped so this gland is known as thyroid gland and when an abnormal enlargement happens due to uh, due to there are some reasons that I'll, I'll definitely discuss and that enlargement is known as goiter so what is the definition we can say this is fine so first what are the symptoms of goiter you see some noticeable swelling when there is an enlargement of the thyroid gland some noticeable swelling would be in the neck which is actually you can observe and then after difficulties of swelling the person will definitely feel difficulties when in case of swelling and then coughing and then hoarseness of voice so these are the symptoms of goiter so why these goiters happen what are the causes of it the first cause of goiter is iodine deficiency which is very very important and first so as iodine deficiency because of lack of iodine in, in, the, in the foods daily lifestyle and food especially in Bangladesh those people are northern side or hill areas where the salt this edible salt uh, with iodine is sometimes is, uh, is definitely lacks and then the people grow this enlargement in the thyroid gland so iron deficiency is a main cause for goiter secondly we can say this is graft's disease though it's not somehow it's not written but you can say this graft's disease are where like thyroid's production is so high and that is why uh, glands become more swell and then this is called hyperthyroidism the word you should know that hyper hyperthyroidism it means the productions of uh, thyroid production is so high that is why it's called hyperthyroidism and in Hashimoto's disease it's totally reversed that the productions I mean this is smaller one that is why it's called hypothyroidism so hyper means up and hypo means less so in both cases in both cases it's the cause of goiter and also in some cases inflammation in uh, the thyroid glands may cause goiter and these is not likely with Hashimoto's disease but it's a like a viral thyroiditis so thyroiditis it means itis it means some inflammations like inflammation and liver we can say it's hepatitis so in case of that goiter in case of thyroid gland we can say this is thyroiditis and there are some another cause that nodules can be another cause of goiter so what is the main cause for goiter if the question so simply answer is iodine deficiency 
So in our day-to-day -day life, when you have food, sometimes when you cook, then salt should be mixed up with processing the food and that salt should be mixed up with iodines and that iodine helps us to help our thyroid glands to perform. And you see, there are five causes. There are some other causes, but I am going to show you some key points of the causes. So you can say iodine deficiencies, Graves disease, Hashimoto's disease, inflammation like viral thyroiditis, and nodules are the main cause for goiter. And think about the diagnosis. How? the goiter can be diagnosed as it is noticeable swelling so a, a doctor will definitely notice and will, will feel the nodules and then you can go for like a blood test you can go for like blood test because of the hormones and the production of antibodies can be can be tested so that we can somebody can say yes and then thyroid scan can be done ultrasound can be done and also biopsy of the nodules uh, can be tested for diagnosis of goiter. In case of medication, home care is important because depending on the level, uh, home care, I mean iodine intake food uh, can be encouraged in this case so that home care sometimes but if this is a dangerous case then surgeries like thyroidectomy can be done. So thyroid thyroidectomy can be done and in other cases radioactive iodine can be performed for the medication of goiter. So simply speaking the goiter is the abnormal condition of enlarged thyroid gland and thyroid gland produce thyroid hormones which is actually thyroxine hormones that develops for for metabolisms and other reasons. So you see in case of goiter uh, symptoms types, cause, diagnosis and medications. So in case of goiter you can see the types of goiter like colloid goiter which is more probably endemic as because where endemic means this disease is actually geographically in some cases fixed. So where uh, iodine deficiency is more prominent the colloid goiter will be there so this is endemic. In case of sporadic non-toxic goiter and a toxic goiter which is scales like multinodular goiter. So these are the types of goiter. So I hope that the definition the symptoms is clear for you. Types, causes, diagnosis and medications. So I hope what is written on your book it's more importantly that how much you know. Though actually it requires a long discussions to make you properly understand that why this goiter will happen but in this case I'm going to limit it uh, um, explanations that uh, because it requires more uh, than when you'll go on the next level I mean or HSC level or in terms of medical uh, students so I think the definitions diagnosis causes are clear and I'm coming up with the next video with the night blindness and some other diseases which is uh, actually a vitamin deficiency disorder so take care stay well Bye.